Why'd you do it, Fox Studios? Why'd you cock up the Fantastic Four? Oh, money. Let's look at what they did to Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch, a name that could only have been come up with in the 30s. Remember, like the video if you like the video. And if you really like the video, go on, go on, subscribe. So first up in the movies is Chris Evans, his first bash at being a superhero and a pretty good fit for Johnny Storm, I reckon. In the first one, as the film progresses, you don't really see how powerful he can be. The movie's just like, yeah, isn't fire cool. But there is the scene where he's being tested and he's hotter than anticipated and he melts the titanium box he's in. And he gets told that he can go supernova and be as hot as the sun, which means I'm really sorry, but I have to show this clip. It's hotter than the sun. So the potential is there to show his power. And when he finally nails flying, he can outrun a missile. And then at the end, fighting Doom, he's allowed to go supernova. And he melts him down with Sue helping to contain it. And it does show that the boy's got some power. You don't see a huge amount though in the sequel. He's fast enough to catch the Silver Surfer. I love that the Surfer has dodged all these buildings and then finally decides to warp through one. And then at the end, he's got some Super Scroll powers, which is pretty cool And how he takes down Doom. Although the same bad guy, come on. And you have to use the other catchphrase, Johnny, flame one is bad enough. It's clobbering time. <gasps> the reboot though, the man Michael B. Jordan, Wallace from The Wire. Now, for such a cool power, you really don't see much of it in the film again. You see him throw some fireballs, big whoop, and then he takes down a drone and he does it traveling. 2,000 meters in six seconds. That's, uh, wait a minute, 755 miles an hour. That's fast. But then we see him chuck a fireball at his sister. Well done, Johnny. And then he's taken down at the end by Doom pretty easily. What a shame. Because in the comics, he's uh, pretty, pretty good. He can do things like melt a tank in seconds after She-Hulk chucks it at him. He can knock the Silver Surfer off his board, which is apparently very impressive. And he can control his flames pretty well. He can melt a man's armor off, but not hurt the man himself. He once trapped Titania by melting the debris that she was holding up. And in another run-in with the She-Hulk, he gives her a bloody heat stroke. He's very fast too. My favourite being when he just melts bullets that have been shot at him. F yeah. And look, if he's already flamed on, then don't bother shooting him. He's too hot. You might as well be shooting a water pistol. He can do things like resist the power of a Hulk thunderclap. Not too shabby. And when he unleashes a Nova flame in the comics, it's likened to a nuclear blast. And it can take out a chunk of that pesky annihilation wave. And lastly, nothing to do with his power, but he also sometimes looks very naked when flamed on. So another big nerf. That Nova in the first movie should have been a lot bigger, man. Ah, uh, I'm done. Goodbye.